From its beginnings in 1922, Doug Easton was always striving for innovation, looking for something better. You know, he was a perfectionist and he sought out to improve the wood arrow. Founded as an archery company and he started making aluminum arrows in the 1930s and 50s. Everything we've been able to do ever since that, in terms of sporting goods and baseball bats and hockey sticks and even tent poles, was all made possible because of the arrows. The industry lore goes back to the 70s with with camping tents in, in Easton. And the lore is the North Face was the first company to identify an Easton arrow as being the appropriate material for a tent tube. And since the 70s, the industry relied on Easton to produce the best tent tube available. In the tent industry, Easton was the first company to commercialize segmented tent poles in the 1970s. Totally revolutionized what was exclusively hard wall shelters and really made feasible the concept of portable, small, ultralight shelters that were robust and, and stable in, in wind conditions. So as we've been developing tent tubes for the market, both in aluminum and carbon, it seems as though there was one more avenue that we could maybe touch on, one possibility that could give us a maybe an ultimate tent tube. So MSR and the whole industry has been using aluminum since the 70s. And it's a really good material for tent frames, but it does have its drawbacks. To make a tent strong, you pretty much have to overbuild it and make it a little heavy. And carbon fiber was introduced, and it makes a lightweight tent, but uh, if you push it too far, it'll fail. Easton showed us the cyclone pole, and we saw it as the holy grail of tent tubes. The ballistic fiber allows a resiliency and toughness that aluminum just can't match. It's a high-end aerospace material, has very unique properties, it has the high strength of carbon fiber, but it has three to four times the elongation and uh, strain to failure that carbon fiber has. The cyclone pole has the strength characteristics of aluminum. We can get a stiff tent, and it also has the weight characteristics of carbon fiber. With the cyclone, we get a tent that's rigid, but also flexible. So you can blow a cyclone tent down to the ground and it's gonna pop back up. We've never had that before in a tent frame and it opens up a lot of different avenues for design and manufacturing. The directives of the company are safety, quality, delivery, and cost. The safety and quality are the two that we really focus on on the design side when we're bringing a product to market. In doing that, we do a lot of in-house testing. So we have specialized tests that highlight that and quantify the bending strength of the product. We also, it's important that they have a high level of crush strength. So we have a test that we use for quantifying the crush strength of the product. And then also from a quality standpoint, is that every tent tube that we ship to the market has already been proof tested to 85% of its ultimate strength. And so that gives us a lot of confidence in what we put into the field. MSR is, is similar to Easton in that, you know, we're concerned about producing a safe, reliable product. But we also do um, testing on the materials that we use to produce a tent. We do rigorous fabric testing to make sure the fabric's gonna hold up to use. We do user testing. We don't just rely on the testing of a component, but we wanna make sure the whole system works together. One of the keys in understanding a market and trying to really address the needs of that market is to have quality partners. And we have that with the MSR team. We're able to exchange ideas, they push us, we can push them a little bit. and It works out really well for both parties. It just gives us another level of confidence for our customer when we put Easton's components in our products.